ginawa niya sa mga gagawin niya sa ating buhay sa umagang ito. Tayo po ay sasamba, magpupuri sa kanyang pangalan. Amen? Amen. Amen. At ipapahayag po natin ang ating pong pagmamahal sa pamamagitan po ng ang pag-awit. Amen? So, tayo po ay uh, tumayo sa mga oras na to. Salubungin po natin ang araw na to ng may kagalakan sa pagpupuri sa Panginoon. Hallelujah! Tayo po ay umawit sa Panginoon. Mahal na mahal ka namin o Diyos. Father, 
Lord, gusto namin, Father the God, sa end na aming buhay, Father the God, we know, Father the God, na ang aming buhay ay nasa iyo, Father the God. Mga kapatid, awitin po natin ang mananatili dahil hindi nagkulang ang Panginoon sa ating buhay. Nandyan siya para isolve ang ating mga problema. Mga kabigatan sa ating buhay. Let us sing Leading.
pagpapali ng Panginoon sa mga oras na to. Let us stay in the presence of the Lord right now. Hallelujah. As it is said in your word, O God, ikaw ang Diyos na hindi nagbabago noon, ngayon, at magpakailanman. At sa buong yugto ng aming buhay, O Diyos, we will declare that you are our God.
think of Father God. Uh, Lord, we feel your presence, Father. We feel Father God that, and we believe Father God in the name of Father God. Salamat, Father God. Sa kaunting oras, Father God. Sa kaunting embrace mo, Father God, na pinapuntahan. Lord, we love you. We worship you to the truth, Father God. Thank you for everything, Jesus. Lord, dinabalik namin, Father God. Kamusta po ang bawat isa? So I was so encouraged no, sa ating uh, praise and worship. You know, it gives me back this reason, why are we worshiping the Lord? Simply because mahal natin siya. Dahil siya yung una nagmahal sa atin. And then ginagawa natin to kasi sino pa bang ibang kanlungan natin kundi ang ating Panginoon, ang Diyos sa atin lahat. So magandang umaga po muli. Ako nga po pala si Brother Jeff and I think You know, um, most of you na nandirito naka-join sa Zoom. So welcome po sa ating gawain ng Panginoon. It's been a privilege and an honor once again um, uh, to be sharing the Word of God para sa ating pong lahat. And I hope and pray na lahat po tayo ay meron pong makapture. Okay? So now, um, dito po tayo magsimula. Okay. Uh, okay. Yan. So, gawin po natin itong medyo interactive, no? Dahil lang po, ah. Yan, okay. So as we prepare to listen to the Word of God, so gawin po natin siyang interactive. In, when I say interactive, yan po yun. Number one, uh, may I encourage you, brethren, na pakiprepare po ang ating mga Bible. So encourage po natin na hard copy para lahat po tayo ay nakapukus, no? Kasi alam naman natin pag digital, medyo pag may nag-text ganyan or nag-notification, tayo po ay nawawala. So I look forward na ibigay po muna natin itong time na to sa Panginoon. Pangalawa, uh, para po sa inyong kalapan, meron po dyang reactions button, no? Ito yan, yung nakikita niyo yan. Pwede niyo pong i-click yan, okay? Nawawala po yan pagka meron po kayong uh, na-feel niyo na nag-touch sa heart niyo and everything, pwede po kayong mag-react. Meron po dyan yung reactions button, okay? And then the third one, if I encourage you kung pwede niyo pong buksan yung cam so that the brethren will be um, uh, able to see you. And syempre, kung kaya niyo pong makapag-interact interact sa chat box, ay yun po ay strongly encouraged. Okay po? So let us prepare. And ang pag-uusapan po natin today is about running the race. Okay? Sabihin nyo nga sa mga katabi nyo dyan or kasama sa bahay, run the race. Okay. Kaya nga tanong ko nga sa inyo eh, kailan ba kayo huling nag-jogging? Kailan kayo huling nagpapawis? Or stuck na lang, no? So ito pong picture na nakikita nyo yan ay isa pong capture malapit po dun sa lugar no namin and ito po yung mga times na umuulan no people are uh, not stopping even if it's dim or gloomy they just really want to run the race okay po so without further ado uh, may I, may I request every, everyone to please open our bibles to Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 to 3 okay running the race therefore Since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let's, let us run with perseverance that the, the race marked out for us. Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Verse 3, consider him who endured such opposition from sinful men so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. Praise be the words of our Father. Uh, we thank you for this time. We thank you for this opportunity. Uh, we know, Lord, na meron po kayong gustong sabihin sa amin this day. And may your words, Panginoon, empower us and uh, cater to the every need that each of uh, the listeners have here with us. So we praise you, Father. We thank you for everything. We commit to you this time in Jesus' name. Amen. So yeah, running the race. So not, not clearly described there, now we must run the race with perseverance of the race 
that is marked out for us. So to start with, um, ito po yung parang snapshot, okay, or idea ng mga nangyayari this 2021. Okay, hindi po yan 2020, ah. so ito yung mga things na nangyayari ngayon. So nakalagay nga dyan, another year uh, run of uncertainty. So ito na naman yung mga tatakbuhin natin. So we may turn up the volume of all the positive vibes. So pwede tila, oh no, I'll be positive this 2021, mga ganyan-ganyan. And we could gather it, but the truth remains that it seems that it's never gonna be the same. Nung, um, I think few days ago, tumawag kami sa family members namin sa Pinas, no? And it's kind of weird kasi lalabas lang yung mama ko dun sa unit namin para magsampay. Kailangan pa niya mag-face mask at mag-face shield. Samantalan dati naman, hindi naman ginagawa yun. Now, you can tell from there, is it gonna be back to normal? Uh, I could hardly say po, mga kapatid. So ito po yung mga nangyayari ngayon. No? So makikita nyo dyan, merong mga uncertainty ng vaccine, meron daw na matay na tinurukan, and then dito uh, sa ating Brew Health, if, if chinek nyo po dyan, meron silang survey. Gusto mo bang magpa-vaccine o hindi? In fact, sumagot na po ako doon. And yung sa, sagot ko po ay pinag-iisipan ko pa. Hindi, dok lang. Okay, number two, ito yung Malaysian PM. Like weeks ago, merong parang um, news uh, officially from MOH na yung lockdown ng Malaysia o yung pinagkukuhanan maybe ng Brunei ng mga goods and stuff ay naka-lockdown until August. Imagine nyo ha, January pa lang ngayon, anim na buwan pa, grabe. Paano na yung sustenance ng mga tao? Number three, alam naman natin itong effect ng uh, UK, yung new strain down na sinasabi sa news, no? So I all, all along I thought because I have friends from UK mga colleagues ko noon na nag-aaral pa ako and they thought that you know they can travel around tapos ganyan na naman yung status ng UK para ah ano ba yan akala ko pa noon makakaikot na ako and then the last thing is ito tong part na to hindi po yan sa EDSA yan po yung tinatawag na box city sa San Francisco California so um, a certain percentage of those people living in there kasi nga maraming na layoff at nawalan trabaho Diyan sila nakatira sa ilalim ng tulay. Could you imagine? U.S. territory pero ganun yung sitwasyon. So, can we say that this is certain? I don't think so po mga kapatid. So, this is another year run of uncertainties para sa atin. So, with that said, see, uh, circumstances seem to put everything on a stop. So, parang, ala, tumigil na. So, anong gagawin natin? Diba? Parang the situation seems to aggravate and tempt us for a typical person just to go with the flow. So ito po yung typical person flow, no? Parang sasabihin niya sa'yo, okay, since ganito yung sitwasyon, so ganito na lang gawin mo. Kumain ka, manood ka, or mag-browse ka, matulog ka, magtrabaho. So ganun na lang, okay? And sa atin po, mga mananampalataya, pwede tayong mahuli sa ganyang sistema. Now, I encourage you, brothers and sisters in Christ, kung nasa ganyan po tayong cycle, we have to break that habit po kasi hindi po yan healthy. So, dapat, as a believer, ganito yung mindset natin, right? The mindset of believers like us should be that of the Hebrew Christians. Yung binasa po nating Hebrews 1 to 3, no? Na hindi po tayo dapat tumigil lang para mag-survive. We hang on the thread na, Oh, Lord, uh, no, intayin ka na lang namin dumating. Hindi po dapat gano'n, no? But we must, sabi doon kanina sa verse 1, 12, 1, we must run the race the Lord has marked for us. Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, sa pikir mo sa iyo mo, tatakbo ka ba? Yan, okay. So yan po yan. Title natin today is Running the Race. So okay bro, dami mo na sinabi, mga introduction. Okay, paano ba ako magkakaroon ng proper mindset that I may run the race? Okay, yun yung tanong natin. And we thank God because doon sa three verses na yun, Binigyan niya tayo ng three mindsets on running the race. Number one is uh, there, uh, there must be a witness or there are witnesses that someone is a witness to us. Okay? So, verse 1a says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by what? Such a great cloud of witnesses. Okay? So, witnesses. Okay, parang ha? Okay, tatakbo ako. Ano silbi ng mga witness or yung mga saksi sa akin? Okay. I was um, reminded, kasi a few weeks ago yata yun, this January lang din, may ni-refer sa aming movie, no? And ito po yung title nun, Just Mercy, okay? And I thought parang walang kwenta tong movie na to, and uh, it's based actually on the true event. So I encourage you mga kapatid, kung may time po kayo, panoorin niyan, okay? So this story is actually 
talking about how justice was discriminating in the earlier years and white men or yung mga Amerikanong puti are favored, are favored than blacks. But when a black lawyer, yan po yun, si Michael B. Jordan, okay, hindi pa yun si Michael Jordan ang basketball player, siya po yung main uh, protagonist, stood up for the truth and gave actual witnesses. He ran the case and pursued it. And with firm and stable witnesses, they eventually won the case. Okay? So yan po yung story niya, no? Pag pinanood niyo, spoiler alert, mga kapatid. So with the help of witnesses, willing and truthful, sila pinursu niya yon at siya po ay nanalo. Okay? So with that said, sino ba yung mga witnesses natin? Bakit kailangan tayong ma-encourage tumakbo? So ito po yun. When, we ha- when, when someone have witnesses, it's a sure victory. Sure win, ika nga. Okay po? So nung time na yon, kaya sila nanalo, hindi dahil Harvard graduate siya or whatever equipping that he has, nanalo sila kasi merong witnesses. Okay po, may mga saksi na nagpatotoo para sa kanila. And we can apply that to our spiritual life na hindi po tayo nag-iisa mga kapatid. Kaya po nga, in-encourage tayo, we will run the race. So sino po ba yung mga witnesses ng ating race? So number one, hindi ko na po papalayuin. One chapter prior sa Hebrews 11 from 4 to 33, binanggit po dyan yung mga patriarchs. I encourage you brethren, sa assignment niyo po yan, batahin niyo, simula from... Um, Abraham, from Enoch, and the rest, until the prophets, Abel and Samuel, lahat po yan, witness. And then, why we need to run the race? Because there are witnesses? Because Jesus himself is our witness. So na-imagine yun, from heaven above, ang Panginoon nakatingin sa atin ngayon na instead of doing our laundry, doing everything else, eh, ginawa nating sambahin, pumunta sa kanyang paanan, at siya'y papurihan. Ang Panginoon po ay nakikita po yan, mga kapatid. And then, yung Matthew 17, and actually, even Jesus, when He was uh, pursuing His life here to the cross, yan po yung transfiguration. Meron pong dalawang witness na bumaba, yun po ay si Elijah at si Moses. Matahin nyo na lang po yan. And then, why we need to run the race? Ito, very encouraging po sa akin to, no? Kasi yung mga parents natin, nanonood sa atin, mga kapatid. Tayo po bang mga anak na may mga magulang pa? Hindi ba kayo na-encourage na, o oh, yung anak ko nagpatuloy sa Panginoon and he's a different person now from where he or she was before? Hindi po ba nakakatuwa yun? You know, I was uh, talking to my mom uh, like a month ago and uh, kasi meron din kaming worship service sa Pilipinas and parang na, nagagamit din kami doon magkakapatid. And she was so encouraged kasi from the makukulit na mga puro lalaki kami, Eh ngayon ay sa biyaya ng Panginoon kami po ay nagagamit na. So we run the race because we have parents who witness our progress in faith. Amen po ba? Okay. And then number four is we run the race kasi meron tayong mga witnesses to which uh, or who are mentors of our faith. So naniniwala po ako dito na dito po sa DDU Brunei, ang ating pong uh, butihing pastor, Coach Ray, ay naging mentor natin sa pananampalataya. So are you not being like encouraged to run this uh, uh, journey of faith na ang ating buting pastor ay sumasaksi sa atin, yun po ay nakaka-encourage mga kapatid. And I know that most of you, meron kayong mga mentors of faith maybe from the Philippines or from wherever they are, na tumulong sa inyong makakilala sa Panginoon. They are witnessing our progress po, mga kapatid. And then the last one is the others who have been part of our spiritual journey. Mga kapatid, this moment, lockdown, Internet is everywhere. Marami pong nakatingin sa atin. So we'd rather run the race than to stop and, you know, just uh, let let go of what task has been marked for us. Okay po? So yun po yung witnesses. Now, um, since we have witnesses, a lot of people, kagaya nga na sinabi ko, are looking up to us. So gusto kong bumalik dun sa, ano, sa just mercy. Yan, spoiler alert. So yan po yung isang scene dun, no? Ah, uh, yan po yung mga saksi nila. Kita niyo ang dami oh. So yan oh, puro black Americans yan. Walang puti diyan. Okay? So there was a scene that the family of the protagonist relied heavily on this lawyer, okay, the black lawyer to resolve the case. And with that, he must be at his best. He cannot afford to lose, okay? So since merong witnesses, 
at maraming nakatingin sa atin, itong si Michael B. Jordan, ito, yung bida, kailangan niyang maging at his best. Hindi siya pwedeng, ano itong ma-defocus. And meron pa isang part doon, sabi niya ganun, huwag kayo mag kasi yung company namin yung magsasponsor ng bayad. Okay? So yung ganung mga bagay, no? Ngayon, similarly, we must be at our best po mga kapatid. So in other words, hindi tayo makakatakbo ng maayos kung hindi tayo at our best fit uh, appearance, okay? And the Bible tells us that how can we be of best fit since there are witnesses? So ito po yun, two things to be at our best for our witnesses. Ang Panginoon ay nakikita tayo, ang mga kamag-anak natin, magulang at mga kapatiran at ang mundo, we have to be our best. And uh, sabi dyan, two things. Number one is we have to throw off everything that hinders us and the sin. So and then the other one is run with perseverance. So throw off everything. Um, bago po tayo mag-go dyan sa next slide. Uh, na-try nyo na po bang tumakbo na meron kayong dalang isang uh, isang galong tubig? Di ba po ang hirap nun? Kasi nga, meron kayong bagahe. So hindi kayo makatakbo ng maayos. There's no one else to blame kung di kayo rin po. So ganun siya, no? And here, on the next slide, sabi dyan, why people get frustrated and stop running the race? Because we have a wrong mindset about sin. Okay? So number one, what is the typical mindset na nagpapabagal po sa atin na parang ang bigat-bigat naman ng mundo. Uh, hindi ako makasabay. Iwan ko na lang pagiging kristyano ko. Hindi po ganun mga kapatid. Siguro po, meron tayong wrong mindset ng kasalanan. Okay? Number one, wrong mindset is that you can play with sin and end up a winner. Hindi po mangyayari yun mga kapatid. Okay? Kailangan pong alisin natin yung cloud of deception sa ating mata na pwede natin paglaruan ng kasalanan kasi hindi po. Okay? Hindi tayo makakatakbo, hindi natin matatapos ang takbuhin ito kung tayo po ay lublog sa kasalanan. Romans 6.23, di ba sabi doon, for the wages of sin is death. Na-imagine niyo po ba yun? Hindi kasi natin ine-elaborate. Every time na gumagawa ka ng kasalanan, pinapatay mo sarili mo. Huwag, ka nang, huwag mo nang lokohin ang Panginoon. Galatians chapter 6.7 verse says, God cannot be mocked. A man... Uh, reaps what he sows. So, kung tingin mo, makakatakbo ka sa takbuhin na to, 2021, 2022, hanggang sa bumalik ang Panginoon, hindi mo po magagawa yun. Not until you stop playing with sin and decided to let go of that baggage. Romans 6.23 very clearly says, if you commit sin every day, you are killing yourself, mga kapatid. Okay po ba? So, I know this is gonna be a little bit safe, pero... Please bear with the word of God. Kailangan po natin to. Okay po? Pangalawa, that God doesn't know it. Oh, okay lang. Sa bahay lang naman ako. Lockdown naman eh. Oh, ano, matatakbo ko itong takbuhin na to. Hindi po mga kapatid, di ba? Ayan o. Oh, throw off everything that hinders us and the sin. So that God doesn't know it. Hebrews 4.13, di ba? Di ba sabi ito ngayon? For the word of God is living and active. Everything is uncovered and laid bare unto the eyes of Him to whom one day you and I will give an account. So nakikita po ng Panginoon ang kasalanan. So if we want to run with sin, uh, we must be joking po mga kapatid. Okay po? Number three, that you can hide it from others without slowing you down. Okay? Hindi po natin matatago yung kasalanan nang hindi tayo bumabagal. Kaya siguro mapapansin nyo sa mga typical na mga manunapalate na lumalakad, bakit bumabagal? Hindi na po yung palaisipan. Joshua 7, to 5 di ba? Yung buhay ni Akan. Iko-conquer na nila dapat yung next na district, next na area, eh anong ginawa? Yun. Diba yung mga committed sa Panginoon, kinuha niya, naglag tuloy sila. Ngayon, bakit ka naglalag, kapatid? Huwag mo expect na matatago mo yun na hindi ka babaga. Number four, that you can defeat, defeat sin without suffering. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 1. Saan nga po natin yan? 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 1. Okay, ano pong sabi doon? Therefore, since Christ suffered in His body, arm yourselves with the same attitude because He who has suffered in His body is done with sin. Nakita niyo po yan? Ang way, one of the ways na makonquer po natin yung sin is kailangan po tayo mag-suffer. Ano yan? Iniisip mong madipit mo yung sin nang hindi ka nagsasuffer? Yun nga lang, tanggihan mo yung pag-inom, suffering na yun eh. Yung tanggihan mo yung pag-yoyosi, suffering na yun eh. 
yung i-off mo yung internet mo at itapo mo yung telepono para hindi ka makapanood ng kung anong mga X-rated suffering na yun eh. No, you you expect to defeat sin without suffering? May hirap po siya mga kapatid. Baka na, nakikipaglokohan po tayo sa Panginoon. Kaya siguro, yung mundo, ang bagal. You know, we felt like, you know, we have all these te- technologies and things like that. No. The standards of the world are entirely different from the one that we have in heaven above, di ba? Isaiah 55, 8 and, 8 and 9. The Lord thought, iba yan. Hindi, hindi mo yan kayang tarusin ng utak mo. Limited to it. Eh. Einstein, hindi mataros ut- utak ng Lord eh. Tapos ikaw, pinipilit mo na, ah, ito po ang kalakaran ng Panginoon. Sin will slow you down. So, I encourage you mga kapatid, kung parang feeling natin bumabaga tayo spiritually, maybe we need to review this first part. That we must throw off everything that hinders us and the sin so we can run properly. So, with this said, we might be asking, why can't I throw off, brother? Why can't, but hindi ko maalis tong kasalanan ko. So, because you chose to sin. Ayan nga, sa next slide says, because we chose to sin. Tandaan po natin mga kapatid, we were born in sin from the time na nagkasala po si Adam. But it's your choice to stay in sin. Diba? Ayan, alinaw-linaw dyan, no? Uh, diba? 2 Peter chapter 2. Okay? Bago natin basahin yan, when Jesus Christ came, we were given access to get out of sin. Parang alam mo yun, wala bang binigay ang Lord na Hindi bro, hindi mo naiintindihan eh, kasi ano eh, mahal ko na tong kasalanan ko na to eh. Para namang hindi ka binigyan ng Lord ng choice. Nung dumating po si Jesus Christ, the veil was torn. Lahat po tayo, merong grace, a portion grace, para makawala po tayo sa kasalanan. Huwag mong sisihin ang Diyos. Huwag mong sisihin yung, eh kasi ano eh, ano influence ano. It's your choice. You chose to sin. So 2 Peter 2.22, di ba sabi dyan, they prove the truth of this proverb that a dog returns to his vomit and another says a washed pig returns to the mud so iyan yung mga minsan gusto natin eh sarap kasi nung mga sumusuko eh baga nung ganun so yun you chose to be a dog di ba and another says a pig wash a washed pig returns to the mud so hinugasan ka na ng pakiro hindi eh, sarap magbabad sa dumi and then Ano pa kontra natin para makawala tayo sa kasalanan? How can we get rid of that identity and we throw it off? 2 Corinthians 5.17, favorite po natin yan. Sabi dyan, di ba? Therefore, if. Okay? If. Alam yung word na if? Conditional plus po yan. You choose to be with Christ and you choose not to be with Christ. So if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. creature. Hindi ka na aso. Hindi ka na pig. Na pabalik-balik. Ikaw lang yung gustong ganun. All things have passed away and behold, all things become new. Lino po niya, di ba? You know, we keep on saying, check in Corinthians, right? eh kung ano ka, kung tig ka, paano ka tatakbo? Hindi po kaya mga kapatid. So, I encourage you, kung ano man po yung daladalahin natin, may this word of the Lord uh, teach us paano po tayo makakalis sa sitwasyon na yun. So, mga kapatid, we are not a pig, we are not a dog. The devil tells you that na, oh, balik ka na lang sa dati mong kasalanan. It's not like we don't have a choice. And just si Jesus Christ, kailangan natin siyang piliin, mga kapatid. So we are a child of God, a runner of faith. And until we accept Jesus with all of our heart and throw off those sins, you are never gonna change po. Okay? You are never gonna change. You can lie to me, you can lie to everyone around you, but you can never lie to God. You can never mock Him because He is your Creator. So this tells me po, mga kapatid, itong part na to, to have a witnesses and to throw off everything para po hindi tayo bumagal, this tells me and all of us that we will eventually slow down and give up in life if we choose not to throw off those sins. So yung mga pangyayari po sa paligid, mag-watch po tayo, di ba? Like a watchman of the Lord. Kapag hindi po natin tinapon yan, babagal po tayo ng babagal hanggang sa eventually yung prophecy ng Lord na because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold. So mga kapatid, I encourage you to throw off those things or sins that God's, God tells you to remove. Otherwise, we will not be able to run the race the Lord has marked for us. Okay? Okay po ba? Amen? Next! 
run with perseverance. Since there are witnesses, kailangan may tumakbo tayo ng may pagtsatsaga. Okay? Yan nga yung perseverance. Eh. So, bago po yan, kay run with perseverance, I just like to say that no one is no one runs without sweating. Tama po ba yun? Pwede ka bang tumakbo na ganun lang, di ba? Parang, oh, hindi ako pagpapawisan. O, oh, anong gagawin mo? Di magsiselfie ka. Eh? Poporma ka pang panjagin, tapos selfie, yeah, add story, mga ganun. <laughs> Pag tumatakbo po mga kapatid, dapat yung goal natin pagpawisan. Amen po ba? Okay? So, uh, with no one runs without pain. Siyempre, sasakit yung katawan mo dyan. Mapapagod ka, you'll experience asphyxiation. All runners have a piece of that po. Okay? So, lahat tayo bilang mananakbo ng Panginoon, makakaranas tayo yan. So, why we need to persevere? Okay? So, we need to persevere because the witnesses persevered too. So, basahin nga po natin yung uh, Hebrews 11:36 to 40. Okay, this is actually um four verses bago po nung Hebrews 12, okay? Hebrews 11:36 to 40 po. Sabi doon, okay. Sabi doon, some face jeers and flogging and even chains and imprisonment. They were put to death by stoning, they were sawed in two, they were killed by the sword. They went about in sheepskins and goatskins, destitute, persecuted, and mistreated. The world was not worthy of them. They wandered in deserts and mountains, living in caves and in holes in the ground. These were all commended for their faith, yet none of them received what has been promised, since God has planned something better for us, so that only together with us we could be made perfect. So yun po yun. Itong mga bakit natin kailangan mag-persevere? Kasi yung mga witness na nauna sa atin, the patriarchs, they even run with perseverance. Okay? So, ano po yung areas that we are called to persevere? So, number one, ayan po, uh, living by God's sustenance. Di ba? So, yung sa kanila, ano daw, they were sold into two. Eh tayo, mawalan lang tayo ng pera. Oh, Lord, oh, ba't yan to? Try, try mong sold into two. Hahanap ka pa ba? Diba? So we must be grateful with the money, the material blessings that God has given us. You know, I was reminded from last week, each of us has a different apportioned blessing from the Lord because He gives it uniquely to us. So huwag kang maghanap nung, alam mo yun, that would lead you to the worldly matters. So we must live by God's sustenance. And then number two, overload sa work, di ba? Parang may mga experiences din ako ng ganyan. But we have to be grateful kasi... If you go around, famine. Diba? Sa Pilipinas, uh, people are gearing with online businesses and things, which was you know, not the way it used to be, mga kapatid. So are you grateful for your workplace? Number three, relationships. Yung family po natin. We must persevere. You know, we keep on praying and never give up on them. Last Monday, you know, we had a Bible study at home, and there was one kapatiran of us na naka-join, and her prayer is simple. That, you know, the, fa- the salvation of the family family would come about sa tulong ng Panginoon. So, kung meron po tayong mga kamag-anak na uh, hindi pa nakatanggap sa Panginoon, meron pa tayong buong 2021, mga kapatid. So, we have to persevere na. Pag-pray natin, Lord, gawa po kayo ng paraan para maabot namin ang ayong mga kamag-anak na hindi pa nakakilalatin. Hindi po ba ganyan mag-persevere? And then, number four, catastrophes caused by the pandemic. So, Diba? Hindi naman porkit pandemic, eh nga nga na lang tayo. So dapat, meron tayong perspective na I need to be productive. Hindi na ako pwedeng bumalik dun sa dati kong ginagawa. Okay po? So, why uh, why run with perseverance? Yung siguro yung tanong natin, okay, so ganyan, uh, bro, may uh, living with God. So why we run with perseverance? Ang lino po, mga kapatid, James 1, 2, 4. A runner's mindset. Sabi doon, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance, and let ano daw, perseverance finish its work on you, so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Yan po yung silbi ng perseverance. Ngayon, if wala kang perseverance, and then you expect the Lord to complete you, come on mga kapatid, alinaw-lino sa salita ng Panginoon, Tambay ka lang, gano'n. Oh, okay, browse-browse. Wala, wala. Hindi tayo, ma- hindi, 
pwede ka bang tumakbo nang hindi ka babangon tapos pupunta ka sa running area? So, kailangan mo pong gumising mga kapatid, mag-gear up, at makitakbo dun sa mga tumatakbo na sa picture kanina. Okay po? So, yun po ang runner's mindset. So, since Jesus... Okay. So, bago tayo magpunta sa next, why persevere? Because sabi dyan, di ba, that everything na nararanasan natin, pandemic, or yung mga kawalan ng trabaho and everything, that's actually part of following the Lord so that we may persevere. Okay? We don't stop, but allow perseverance to finish its work, its work so that we may be mature and complete. Yung po yung inaasahan natin, kaya siguro may witness tayo no, sa mga parents natin, ganyan, nasasaksiyan tayo and everything, and then nakikita nila tayo nagtsatsaga, alam mo yung parang nai-encourage sila, and then tayo, namomotivate din po tayo sa kanila. Okay po? And now, the next one is, for us to run the race, we must have this second mindset. Okay? The second mindset is, in love with Jesus. Yan, okay. So, kunin ko po yung verse 2 in an amplified manner. Sabi doon, looking away, tuming, ilayo ang tingin from all that will distract us and focusing our eyes on Jesus, who is the author and perfecter of faith, the first incentive for our belief and the one who brings our faith to maturity. Parehas na parehas ng James. Who for the joy of accomplishing the goal set before him endured the cross, disregarding the shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God, revealing his de- deity, his authority, and the completion of his work. So ang ganda po niya, no? So uh, itong time na to, looking away from all that distracting us and focusing our eyes, why do I say that for us to run the race, we must be in love with Jesus? Why is it essential? Why is it vital? So this time, I want to honor my ano po, my wife. No? So uh, total, uh, Valentine's naman. So pagbigyan niyo na po ako, no? uh, Valentine's, uh, ano ba date yan? Few days, few weeks. Uh. So ito po yung in love, yung part na para illustration ko. So ito po, ito po yun, tagal, saan na ba yung mouse ko? Ito po si Hana, yan, siya yan. Tapos ito ako. Tapos ito po yung dalawa kong kuya, si John, si Jeremy, tapos ito po yung bunso namin. This was taken, I think, around four to six years old. Yata kami na eh. Hindi ko, parang ganong ano. So naalala ko yun, nangunguha pa kami ng mga makopa kasi wala na mako online yung time eh. And now, ito po kami, no? So, ganyan. So we were joking around one time. Nung una kami nagkita ulit after 20 years sa isang camp, no? Na in-initiate ng mga ABCO pastors. And nung, kasi parang four or five days yata yun eh. Nag-detach kami after. And then, binibiro niya ako, sabi niya, ang lagkit daw ng tingin ko sa kanya. Sabi ko ganun, auto pa ko naman yan. Ay, libre mo ako mamaya. So, ganun, no? Um, na, alam mo yung parang yung tingin, di ba? Bakit, bakit ka nakatingin, di ba? Bakit ka nakatingin? Yun yung magandang tanong. So, um, kasi mahal mo. Di ba? So, nakatingin ka kasi mahal mo. Okay. So, kaya nga ini-encourage ko eh, may mga partners dyan eh, nakasama, tsaka may mga asawa. Tingnan mo nga yung asawa mo, mata sa mata. Ah, uh, yan. Yeah. Uh, yeah. O, sige, mamaya na kayo mag ha. So, bakit, bakit ka nakatingin? Kasi mahal mo. Okay. Ngayon, why people, with this illustration given, why people can focus or fix their eyes on Jesus and look away from all the distractions? Kasi ito yun. Diba? Kasi hindi mo siya mahal. Okay? Ganun lang po yun mga kapatid. Bakit hindi tayo makatingin sa Lord? Kasi hindi mo siya mahal. Bakit hindi ka makatingin dito sa salita ng Panginoon? Kasi hindi mo siya mahal. Diba? Huwag na natin, huwag na natin paikot-ikutin ng Panginoon. Kaya ka hindi makatingin sa Lord kasi hindi mo siya mahal. Diba? Tama nga eh. Tama talaga yung sinabi ng Revelations eh. Ito mga last part, ayun o, Revelations 2.4. Tinagalog ko na lang. Ngunit ito yung nasa Tagalog Bible. Ngunit ito ang pinagdaramdam ko sa inyo. Nanlalamig ka na sa akin. Hindi mo na ako mahal tulad ng dati. <coughs> Yun yung problema, mga kapatid. Oh, I want to be in love with Jesus. Yakan. Di nga. Diba? Hindi, hindi na. Hindi mo na ako mahal tulad ng dati. Ganyan yung nangyayari ngayon, mga kapatid. Whether we admit it or not. And what should, what people love today? Diba? Ayun, no, yan yung mga mahal natin today. Facebook, diba? 
Ah, hindi. Hindi naman ako pa... Eh, apat na oras ka ng gano'n ng gano'n eh. Di ba? YouTube, oh. Ten hours. Ganun. <laughs> ah, I love Jesus. So I want to run the race. I want to keep in love with Him. Ten hours. So, yan yung mahal ng tao ngayon. I mean, even I, I'm guilty of this po, mga kapatid. You, you say you love... You dare say you love Jesus? Dear it. Games. Pagkain, di ba? Deuteronomy 8, 12 to 14. When you eat and are satisfied, and you build fine houses and settle down, and everything you have is multiplied, anong papasok? Then your hearts become proud. Then you forget the Lord your God. Cheese me trending. O Proverbs 11, 13. Masayin nga natin yan. Yan yung ano natin ngayon, mahal natin ngayon eh. Trending. Ano ba yung mga trending ngayon? Hindi natin alam. It's ano, uh, isang form ng gossip. Ay nasabi, a gossip betrays confidence. Okay? But a trustworthy person keeps a secret. So yun yung mga mahal natin today. Pera, di ba? First Timothy chapter 6 verse 10. Sapat binibigay sa iyo ng Lord. Gusto mo pa. Sabi sa First Timothy chapter 6 verse 10, di ba? Uh, some people who love for love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. Some people so eager for money na wala sa pananampalataya have wandered from faith and pierce their hearts with many griefs. Yourself, di ba? It's all about you. It's all about me. Second Peter or Second Timothy three one to two, di ba sabi But mark this: in the last days, there will be come there will come times of difficulty, for people will be lovers of self peace and the self pala. So buksan niyo na lang po yan sa ESV version. People will be lovers of self. So ito pong lovers of self na to, we will discuss something about that later. Kaya siguro inuna yun sa text, kasi ito yung pipeline ba? Ito yung daan kung sa lulusot yung pagmamahal sa pera, envy, uh, not lovers of God, but lovers of pleasure, itong yourself na tinatawag. Okay? So speaking about the flesh, why people fall out of God's love? Ayan o, oh, ang linaw-linaw yan. Hindi naman agad sin yung makukumit eh. There will be a temptation, but what happens is you have you put your confidence in the flesh. Kaya ka nagkukumit ng kasalanan. Ay, hindi. Oh, ano naman ako eh? Gwapo naman ako eh. Maganda naman ako eh. Yan, yan yung, parang yung sinabi ni Eva eh, nung Genesis eh. Ah, o, oh, oh, tinatanong ako nung serpent o nung, ano, nung creature. Ah, sige, dapat, dapat ang sagot niya. Tanungin ko muna yung asawa ko. Eh, hindi, itong si Eva. Ah, hindi, kaya ko yan. Kumpiansa ako. Alam ko eh, sinabi sa akin ni Adan eh. O yan, tinan mo nangyari. Confidence in the flesh. Yan yung nagpo-call out. Now, Lord, I can manage my life. I don't need you. Diba? Sino ka ba? I'm the driver of my own life. Kaya people fall out of God's love. Yan po yung problema. So, what should we need to do then, brother, so that we can be in love, okay? So we can keep that intact love for Jesus. So ito po yan, how to fall in love with Jesus, baby. Yan. Ito yung good news. After the temptations and trials, yung mga nararanasan natin, we must have confidence in the Spirit. Alam niyo po yan, Galatians 5.25, sabi po doon that now, since we live by the Holy Spirit, therefore, every step we take must be directed by the Spirit. Hindi na tayo gumagalaw on our own. May sarili na tayong autopilot. Okay? Kaya nga nandito yung salita ng Panginoon. Eh. Hindi mo mahanap yung direction mo. Di hanapin mo dito. Diba? So yung ano pa lang eh, diba? Um, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. Your body is a temple of your Holy Spirit. Alagaan mo yung katawan mo. Yun yung will ng Panginoon sa inyo. So Galatians 5.25, diba? Pag nandyan yung kumpiyansa natin sa Holy Spirit, we will have victory over sin. And then with that, keep, keep in love with Jesus, diba? So ganun po yun. So the next one is, uh, why we need the Holy Spirit, okay? So sabi dyan, Jesus promises the Holy Spirit. John 14, 15 to 18 and 21. Sabi doon, If you love me, keep my commands. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. The Spirit of truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he lives in you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans, I will come to you. 21, sabi doon, Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. 
the one who loves me will be loved by my father. Alino, di ba? And I too will love them and show myself to them. Ito po yung kailangan natin mga kapatid. Di ba? Para tayo mag-keep intact sa pagmamahal ng Panginoon, di ba? We have to have the Holy Spirit of God. And sabi doon sa verse 17, the spirit of truth, di ba? The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him. So you want to um, detach yourself from the power of the spirit? Be with the world. Ganun lang ka simple. Eh, no? The world cannot accept him. Because if you are in the world, you cannot see him nor know him. Yan po yung sinasabi. Kaya we need the Holy Spirit to be constantly in love with Jesus. Okay? So the next part po is, okay, three things of being in love with Jesus. Yan, maganda yan. Okay? Three things of being in love with Jesus. What does the Spirit of Jesus do as we keep loving Him while running the race? Yan ang maganda. So number one, sa verse 2B, sabi doon, will perfect our faith. Okay? Sabi doon, will perfect our faith. Ha? So hindi po yan perfect our bank account or perfect our retirement or perfect our health. Hindi po. Perfecter of our faith. The author and perfecter of our faith. So naalala ko po noon, um, nung single pa po ako, so may mga faculties po kung hindi na-activate, no? Pero nung ako po ay ikinasal, nang ako po ay nagkaroon ng better half, so may mga things po kong nagawa na hindi ko kayang gawin nung wala siya. Totoo po yan. So kaya libre na ako for two times now. Pwede ako lang. So di ba, I mean, I, I believe this is true for those who are married, na may mga faculties tayong hindi na-activate as single men unlike nung tayo po ay kinasal. Merong mga binigay or in-enable ang Panginoon sa atin. Number two, it will give us joy. Okay? When we're in love with Jesus and the Spirit is with us, it will bring us joy. So, kami po, uh, gawin natin yung sample ang marriage kasi pa-Valentine naman. So, six years or magsi-seven years na po kaming, uh, tama ba? Okay, yeah. Magsi-seven years na kami. Oh, baka nakalimutan ko. Magsi-seven years na po kaming uh, kasal ni uh, Sister Hannah, no? And sabi nga nila sa isang movie, uh, yung seven year itch, so malalagpasan na namin. Debe na lang. Okay, six years na po kami, uh, magsi-seven years na kami kasal ni Sister Hannah. And ayun, oh, masaya naman siya. Kung oh, tatanungin niyo, oh. debe na lang. So kidding aside, yung po kasing vow na tinatawag, di ba? Na sa hirap at ginhawa. Sa hirap at ginhawa. Ganon din tayo po, mga kapatid kay Lord. Joy will not be dependent on our circumstances. Kaya nga sa hirap at ginhawa eh. Kahit tuyo at kamatis na lang po ang ulam. Okay? Ganun po ang pagmamahal dapat natin sa Panginoon. Ganun yung joy. Hindi yung kasi marami ka. ba? Diba? Kundi ang Panginoon ay nasa iyo. Sa inyong marriage, sa family, kaya kayo may joy. Number three, it will clothe us with endurance. Okay? Sabi niya ganun, who for the joy... Uh, set before him, endured the cross. Yan, no? verse 2D. So, ako po, re- relevant din sa ganun, no? sa relationship and stuff like that. Ako po ay um, makalat sa bahay. no. Alam naman ni Hannah yan, pero hindi na masyado, sakto lang, maliit one test. Hindi, ako po ay talaga ganun ngayon, parang pag ano, kung saan mo lang itatawag. So, I'm sure may makaka-relate po. No? Pero ngayon, uh, na-endure niya naman. No? Na-endure niya naman. Oy, hindi na ako masyado makalat. So, na-endure naman niya. So, why quality marriage endures? Kasi nga, kasama ang Panginoon. ba? Diba? You both are in love with Jesus. Kidding aside, yung pong mga bagay na nangyayari ngayon, uh, seems unbearable po mga kapatid. Pero ang, ang command po sa atin ng Panginoon sa kanyang salita is just keep loving Him. You know, keep knowing from the Spirit of God. Uh, keep being attached to Him. And, yan po yung matatamasa natin as we run the race. Okay po? Tama nga yung sinabi sa Philippians 1.6, eh, di ba? Ayan o, let us keep loving Jesus despite the trials, suffering, challenges we face today. Because in the end, worth it po yan. I- I'm sure na, well, I-, I hope and pray na, nung nagpakasal tayo sa ating mga spouses and things like that, it's all worth it po mga kapatid. No? Kahit tuyo at kamatis na lang, di ba? Philippians 1.6 promise, Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to what? To completion until the day of our Lord 
Jesus Christ. Amen. So yun po. And then, number three, the last one, patapos na po tayo, how can we run the race? Okay, number one, we have to have the mindset of how, that there are witnesses. Number two, we have to be in love with Jesus. And number three, is never grow weary or lose heart. Verse three says, consider him, that's Jesus, who endured such opposition from sinful men so that you will not, you and I will not grow weary and lose heart. Kepo, never grow weary or lose heart. Okay. So, ito pong part na to, I just want to say that weariness or yung pagkapagod and other terminologies related is actually a choice. Nung nakita niyo po sa picture kanina, yung parang first part na may tumatakbo, nung nag-practice po ako ng ano, uh, running, ganun, uh, meron talaga mga runners no, yung talagang design na silang tumakbo. Parang hindi sila napapagod. So ako po nung napagod, actually pwede na ako umuwi, eh, dumino na tubig at magpahinga. Pero actually, weariness, weariness is a choice. So wag po tayo magpadisin. So instead, ang ginawa ko nun, parang itong picture na to, Siyempre, habang bu- na- umiinit yung katawa mo tapos lumalabas yung pawis mo, gumawa ka ng ibang bagay like mag-stretching ka or mag-push up ka and everything para mamaya pagka naka-recharge na yung katawan mo, tatakbo ka ulit. So it's actually a choice that you and I need to make. Okay? Now, why people become weary or lose heart? Bakit kaya ang tao na- napapagal at nawawala ng puso when running this life race for the Lord? Ayan po yun, no? di ba? Kasi wala silang pahinga, okay? Because they have been deceived by the world that or that they thought that when they will stop, they will die. The truth is, when you don't stop or pause, you will die. So ngayon po mga kapatid, yung mundo, kagaya po sa office namin, no, we have a lot of webinars. Send ng link isang supplier, send ng link isang principal, and we are overfed with with information. So bakit napapagod ng tao? Kasi we we uh, the world created this mindset that when you stop you will die. Actually hindi po 'yun. So we need to have rest from the presence of God. Bakit ko sinabing hindi lahat ng pag ano mo 'yun yung pag apopoya, uh, pag OT and everything for whoever wants to lose his life for their for whoever wants to save their life on earth will lose it. But whoever loses their life for me will save it. What good is it for a man if he gains the whole world, yet lose or forfeit his very self? Diba? So ang pagtakbo po, actually, and you become weary, it's a choice. So we have the option to rest in the presence of God. So is rest allowed? Yung siguro natin na, okay, inalaw ba sa Bible ng Panga? Hindi ba dapat persevere lang ako ng persevere? Actually, meron pong rest na tinatawag sa Bible. Ngayon, tanong ko nga po sa inyo eh. Tayo po ba ay nagpapahinga pa? So, kayo po makasagot niyan. Genesis chapter 2 verse 2 to 3. Ano po 'yan? 'Di ba? Basahin nga po natin 'yan. Genesis 2 2 to 3. Okay. Ito 'yung time na nagpahinga ang Panginoon. Sabi niyan, so God blessed the seventh day and made it holy because on it God what rested from all his work that he had done in creation. Now you tell me, bawal ba magpahinga? Pwede, pero huwag naman yung pahinga na parang seven, or six days ka lang magpapahinga, tapos one day ka lang. Hindi naman ganun mga kapatid. So, rest in God's presence. I want to highlight on this, di ba? ito po ay rest, principle of rest sa presensya ng Panginoon. Hindi lang yung rest na parang, alam mo yun, kung ano-ano, mga pleasurable stuff yung ginagawa mo. Meron dapat sense of balance po doon mga kapatid, okay? So and then in the last Mark, Mark chapter 4 sa last part yan yan yung di ba nagta-transfer sila from the other part of the lake anong ginawa ng Lord natulog siya di ba he took time to rest so yung rest na yan siguro is not just about resting like with our body but we have to rest our mind po mga kapatid kasi ang mundo ngayon ganyan ano kanyan iinjekan ka ng maraming information so kapag hindi ka marunong mag-rest mag-overheat yung utak natin, okay? And then, third concept would be found in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 1 to 5. Makikita niyo po yan. Yan po yung rest or yung sabat na kinuman ng Lord for the people of God or the Israelites. So, now, is rest is allowed po ba, mga kapatid? Actually, yes po, based from these principles. 
Yet, we chose not to rest. This is the reason why tayo po, we cannot run the race. Because wala tayo yung parang, alam mo yung reset attitude, no? So, kailangan po natin mag-reset from time to time. So, ngayon po, bakit ba tayo nag attend sa Zoom? Bakit pinili natin uh, ilang bang participants ngayon, 30 plus? Kasi we chose to rest in the presence of God and His Word. So, I was reminded of uh, Isaiah 40 verse 31. Sabi doon, di ba? How can we recharge? Sabi nga, but those who hope in the Lord shall renew their strength. They will soar on wings like the eagles. They will run and not grow weary, and they'll walk but never faint. Nakita niyo po yun? Those who what? Who hope in the Lord. So this tells me that this rest being described in the Bible cannot be found in the world po, mga kapatid. Ito po yung makikita lang sa presensya ng ating Panginoon. So now, uh, I just want to give an example. Si, ano, si Bell po kasi, nung before siya mag-schooling, uh, ano po yan eh, ayaw matulog ng maaga. So pag niya the next day, parang tumiiyak, ganyan, bugno-bugnutin. So pagod. Kasi nga, hindi ka nagpahinga. So tayo mga parents, we must set an example po, di ba? Na para sila ay kargado or ready to run the next day, Sabayan po natin sila magpahinga, di ba? Hanggap maaari. So, gusto lang namin pakita rin sa anak namin na hindi po kami workhorse, no? Hindi kami kayod kabayo. Kami ay umaasa lang sa grasya ng Panginoon at definitely hindi po kami robot. Kasi po baka paglaki niya, magkaroon siya ng mindset na, oh, kailangan ko maging kayod kabayo. Ayaw po namin matutunan niya based from the principles of rest through the word of God. All right? So moving on, why Jesus set the example no? for us not to grow weary and said that we must not grow weary or lose heart. Kasi meron po dyang warning sa verse, uh, actually verse 3a, okay? Hindi pa 36, 3a. The opposition of sinful men, okay? So gusto ko po ipakita bakit hindi tayo pwedeng mapagod, okay? At kailangan natin ng rest sa Panginoon. Ito po yan. Verse 3a. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinful men. Okay? So, yan po yun. So, these days, the world will try to dictate or oppose you, your principles, your stand as a man, as a child of God, who you should be and what's your identity. Ganyan po yung nangyayari ngayon sa paligid. So, i-dictate na, oh, ito lang yung tamang gender. Ito lang. Oh, coronavirus, ABCD mamaya, Z strain coronavirus. We can never tell. Diba? Consider him who endure. Kaya ka nga hindi pwedeng mag-grow weary kasi dadami pa yan. Ito, ayan, mga trash. Trash information. Fake news, kung ano-ano, whatever. Ganyan na yung nilalagay sa utak natin. Kinocondition na tayo. Ngayon, if you grow tired or weary, talo ka. Kaya nga, consider Jesus eh who endured such a position. Itong mga sinful things na ini-inject sa atin, yan na yun. Mamaya yung coronavirus hanggang X to the power of 10. Hindi ko alam. Diba? So, like Sodom and Gomorrah, times have come po, mga kapatid, where they try to oppose, manipulate every godly principle that you have in life. And if we don't keep godly principles of rest, perseverance, endurance, fasting, and others, you will grow weary and literally lose your heart po. Okay, mga kapatid? So kaya ini-encourage tayo ng Lord to take the principles from His holy word of how to live life, especially the times have already come. So naalala ko lang, no, um, kapag ang isang hypertensive na tao, no, bakit siya uh, naka-hypertensive and nasustroke? Anyway? Kasi overloaded na po yung laman ng puso niya. So sabi nga ng isang uh, research scientist that sleep is the best hypertensive medicine. Ngayon, question ko is, natutulog pa po ba tayo sa gabi? So yun po mga kapatid. With all this said, here's the summary. How to run the race that the Lord is marked for us? Three concepts lang po from Hebrews 12, 1 to 3. We must have the win attitude. Okay? So sabi mo nga, Saka tabi mo, are you ready to win? Yeah, okay. So we have to have the winner's mindset, the win attitude. Number one, we have to have the witness. 
that someone is watching us from heaven and here on earth to throw off everything and to run in perseverance. Number two, we have to be in love with Jesus. Try mong tumakbo ng wala kang minamahal na tao, mahirap, nakakapagod. Kaya nga ako nagjajaging exercise kasi I need to take care of my health for my family. Diba? Because I love them. So being in love with Jesus' perfect surface gives us joy, closes with, with endurance. And then the last is N. Never grow weary or lose heart. We have to hope in the Lord and not grow weary. We have to embrace the principle of rest. And why we should not grow weary or lose heart? Because more oppositions await or will come after us. So mga kapatid, ito po ang salita ng Panginoon. And I, clo- I want to close this part, okay, from uh, sa isa pong uh, story. Ayan. So ito po yan. No? Kami po, I, I think some of you guys are familiar with this. So kami po ay few weeks ago, that December 27 or 28, kami po ay nag-join ng isang 10-kilometer obstacle race. Okay? Kasama ko po dyan si Brother Carlo, makikita niyo po dyan. So by God's grace, kami po ay finisher ng 10-kilometer uh, obstacle race. So yeah, with all these uh, said and done and things like that, ano yung mga natutunan ko while running the race? Things I learned from the race. Number one, running with believers of the same goals is motivating. Okay po? So, tayo pong mga mananampalataya dito sa Brunei or kung nasan man tayo, maganda pong tumakbo ng may kasama. You know, I could imagine myself running alone. Ang boring siguro no? And then there's no motivation. So, we have to run, okay? By the way, with believers who have the same goal, ha? hindi yung goal na kung saan saan pupunta. Number two, that there is a price, okay? An achievement. Kasi noong time po na yan, meron pong binigay na parang medal or something like that, no? So, ito po sa part na to. Now, speaking about Christ, we have something that intangible that you and your inner witnesses will cherish. So, nung time po na natapos yon, parang si Bell, tuwan-tuwa siya, oh, you finished, tatay, something like that. So, meron pong price na intangible na hindi mababayaran ng kung ano-anong binibigay lang na trophy. And then, focus is important. Diba? Being in love with Jesus. Why you need to focus? Because, ayan, no, expect a lot of factors coming to take that focus out. So nung time po na yun, pagod, tapos yung uh, maraming buhangin, kasi sa beach po ginanap yun, ang daming buhangin, maraming distracto- distractions na haharap. Pero you have to keep your focus that your goal is to be in love with Jesus while waiting for Him. And then you will sure not to pass out. And then the last one is, ang takbuhin po sa buhay mga kapatid, 2021, ilang years ago na same pa rin yung pinipreach, hindi po yan titigil. Nung tumatakbo po kami, you know, the race didn't stop nung napagod ako or yung mga kasama ko. It goes on. So, the key there is endurance. Endurance po mga kapatid, parang yung ginawa ni Jesus is the game changer. And then I was still you know, led back sa tama talaga yung sinabi ni Paul. Meron kasi si Paul, si Apostle Paul na winner's mindset. Dito po ako magsasara. 1 Corinthians 9, 23-27. Sabi niya ron, do not know, do you not know that in a race um, all runners run but only one gets the prize? Yung tinutukoy, tu, tinutukoy po ni Apostle Paul is yung prize ng pagnanalo ka sa race. Pero sabi niya, run in such a way uh, run in such a way as to get the prize. 25, everyone who competes in the games goes into, into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last. But we do it to get a crown that what? That will last forever. Therefore, sabi ni Paul, I do not run like someone running aimlessly, na walang focus. I do not fight like a boxer beating the air. No. I strike a blow to my body and make it, a, make it my slave so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the price. So ito po mga kapatid yung gusto sa ating iwan ng Panginoon. Na, you want to run with run the race? We have to have a winner's mindset. And with that, um, ito po ang conclusion ng ating uh, mensahe. And uh, uh, kayo, kayo pong lahat nawa, tayo pong lahat ay napagpala. And God bless po sa bawat isa. Magandang umaga po.
Okay. So tayo pong, uh, as we close this part, tayo pong lahat ay manalang. Amang banal, magandang umaga po sa inyo. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa time na to na kami po ay nakapakinig ng inyong salita. Thank you, Lord, for uh, making us understand that this life race, Panginoon, will keep going. Not until kayo po, Panginoon, ay bumalik mula sa kalangitan at kupkupin na po kami, Panginoon, bilang inyong po mga anak. And until then, Panginoon, salamat, you know, for encouraging us from your very words in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1, 1 to 3, that we must have to have this winner's mindset. Because you yourself have said, Panginoon, in John 16, 33b, that you yourself have overcome, have already won in the world. So, Panginoon, ito po naman yung namin as we traverse this life's journey. Huwag po kaming pahinaan, Panginoon, but uh, may we keep these principles in our hearts na kayo po ay aming saksi mula sa kalangitan. Merong mga taong nakatingin sa amin, naglulook up sa amin. Kailangan po namin mamalagi sa pag-ibig ninyo at mahalin kayo sa araw-araw po na ayong buhay. At definitely, Panginoon, na hindi po kami mapagod sapagkat alam po namin, Panginoon, na it's all worth it. Maraming salamat, Panginoon. I pray na nakater po yung mga needs namin, uh, pati ng mga kapatiran na may kailangan po ng inyong mensahe. And with the power of the Holy Spirit, alam po namin, tama kayong sinabi niyo sa inyong salita sa Zechariah 4.6, that with our power and our might, we cannot do it. But with you, O Holy Spirit, we have everything that we need. We praise you, Father. We thank you for everything. And this is our prayer through your Son, Jesus Christ, Everyone of the people of God says, Amen and Amen and Amen. God bless po, ingat po, and kita kits po ulit tayo next time. Amen. Good morning po. Clear po ba? Narinig niyo po ba? Okay. Good morning po sa lahat. Uh, dumako na po tayo sa uh, types and offering. Clear po, no? Okay. Uh, thank you, Brother Jet, sa uh, wonderful message mo. And uh, speaking of running, speaking of running the race, dumako naman tayo towards giving. Then, uh, let me share to you some key points. Uh, number one, uh, realize God owns it all. We need to realize that everything we have in this world is not ours. It all came from the Lord. He can take it quickly, just as quickly. In Job 1, verse 21, and he said, Naked I, I came from the 